Hello, everyone. Uh, with all these amazing uh, presentations, I really appreciate the fact that I've been given this opportunity to present this modest work, my uh, teamwork, entitled Free Association Computational Analysis of Non-Synonymous SMPs of RET and Gene. So RET and Gene codes for a protein called uh, resistin, uh, which took its name from insulin resistance as it was, uh, first of all, uh, uh, discovered in rodents and then uh, associated with insulin resistance in humans. And it was studied uh, in association with many metabolic diseases and inflammatory uh, abnormalities. So as uh, Professor uh, Mutala did uh, mention, Type 2 diabetes uh, is the main kind of uh, all types of diabetes, and it results of a combination of uh, genetic and environmental uh, components. So one among 11 adults have diabetes, uh, which uh, is about 463 million of individuals, according to the International Diabetes Federation in 2019. In 2016, diabetes caused 1.6 million deaths, uh, among which 80% occur in low and uh, middle uh, countries, middle income countries, uh, including Morocco. And in Morocco, the prevalence reached 12.4% of the population, and this is why we are interested in this gene uh, in association with uh, type 2 diabetes in Moroccans. So the objective of this study was to perform a, uh, a prediction analysis or in silica analysis of non-synonymous SNPs of uh, RET and gene to, in order to, to, uh, uh, in order to uh, do a, uh, a population-based association study uh, between these non-synonymous SNPs and type 2 diabetes in Moroccan individuals. We started first by collecting uh, synon, um, sorry, SNP's information uh, from DBSNP and amino acid sequence from NCBI protein database. And then we took all uh, the uh, non synonymous SNP's as an input to uh, a consensus classifier called predict SNP, which includes eight tools, eight different tools of prediction uh, to predict whether these SNPs are uh, deleterious or uh, tolerant. And then we did a panoply of structural analysis, starting with a conservation uh, prediction using CONSERV, and then post-translational modification sites then we tested the uh, stability increasing or decreasing of these non-synonymous SNPs. Uh, we constructed a uh, model of the uh, human resistant uh, protein using homology modeling method uh, using the Swiss model two. And the model uh, that was chosen is the uh, mouse resistant which uh, shows an identity of 55.6% with the human resistant. And then we constru constructed the other mutant structure, I mean uh, the proteins, the resistant proteins, uh, each one including one SNP. Then we did the step of energy minimization to get the most stable proteins. Another interesting uh, analysis is the RMSD calculation. So the RMSD uh, measured the distance between uh, two amino acids belonging to one to the uh, native structure or the native protein and the other one to the mutant protein at the same position. And we then calculate all these distances given the RMSD. So the more the RMSD is bigger, the more the deviation between the native protein and the 
mutant protein is uh, bigger. And then we did a total hydrogen bonds prediction and interaction analysis. So uh, from DBSNP, uh, we could retrieve 79, uh, 78 non-synonymous SNPs of human RAT and gene. The results shown in this table are the results from predict SNP with all uh, its included tools. And the scores are uh, given here, uh, selected 15 non-synonymous SNPs that were deleterious uh, by all the tools. Here in this table, we can see the conservation and uh, post-translational uh, modification sites prediction. Look, first of all, we have the scores of uh, the conservation. So uh, seven, uh, a score of seven or above uh, means that this uh, SNP is uh, in a position, in a conserved position in the protein. Uh, BE means buried or exposed position. F or E, it means uh, functional or structural. And we were interested for the, uh, for the PTM sites in uh, the positions where there is a gain or loss of a cysteine because it is uh, known that the resistance is uh, C rich, uh, uh, a cysteine rich C terminal uh, protein. So, for example, in the position uh, 78, there is a loss of cysteine, which uh, might lead to the loss of a disulfide linkage. The same for the position 103 and 104, while in the position 98, there is a gain of cysteine. Regarding the stability prediction uh, analysis, we used two tools, iMutant and MuPro. MuPro used three different algorithms, and we did like a, we set a criteria, uh, selecting for the next steps only the uh, positions that were predicted to decrease stability with at least three tools. So here, the model that we get from Swiss model of the human resistant gene following uh, the mouse uh, resistant with three different chains, so it's a homotrimer. So the results of RMSD were uh, significantly important for both position 51 and position 104 with the, the, the biggest uh, RMSDs and also an increase in total hydrogen bonds. So here, for example, so here, for example, we have the native structure superimposed to the mutant uh, 51 uh, that changed, a, that substituted a um, cysteine to a tyrosine. And here, for example, in this superpos uh, superposition, we can see here the difference or the deviation between both uh, proteins. In the right side, at the middle, we can see the disulf disulfate bond in native resistance between both positions, 51 and 104, while above, up, we can see that disulfate bond is uh, breakdown and in the same case here with uh, the mutation here in position 104. Uh, last analysis was the interaction analysis. Uh, for the first line, number of un interactions residues, molecule one, it was between chain one and chain two of the trimer. Number of interacting residues, molecule two, is just the chain C. And then number of hydrophilic, hydrophobic interactions in the whole trimer. Number of hydrophilic, hydrophilic interactions also in the three chains. And number of hydrophobic, hydrophobic interactions also in the whole chains. 
We were interested again, specifically in position uh, 51 and uh, 104 that, um, that shows a difference, increasing or decreasing the number of interactions. So uh, as a conclusion, uh, with this in silico uh, prediction, we could uh, choose nine non-synonymous SMPs that were predicted as deleterious, highly conserved, and uh, affecting the protein stability. Uh, uh, two positions were uh, significantly important, the position 51 and position 104, uh, for having uh, the highest Hermes D values and with the loss of total hydrogen bonds. We can conclude that this selection or this collection of non-synonymous SMPs is worthy to be studied in population-based association studies. Uh, acknowledgements goes uh, specifically to my supervisor, Professor Rashid Sail and Dr. Abdel Hamid Barakat, also to Dr. Hisham Sharot, to um, students and colleagues, Lamia Al Khattabi, Hind Bouafi, Sumaya Amgar, and all the laboratory team. <laughs>